Hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. This is a class apart. Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz 2022, season three of this fascinating celebrative initiative created by the Padma Shadri Bal Bhavan group of schools. Created by them, literally the length and breadth of this nation with schools coming in in large numbers have taken part not to just have their children be part of a wonderful quiz such as this, but in their own way to pay a tribute to a great educator. We are indeed delighted that over the last two seasons and the quarterfinals that you have witnessed, the level of this quiz has been rising and rising consistently. The stage is set for the top 16 from across this nation to battle with each other for a place in the big final. Well, Rashmi will take you through these semi-finals and identify those four worthy national finalists. Enjoy watching it as much as I will be keen to know who the finalists are going to be. But for now, please welcome Ms. Rashmi Furtado. <laughs> My dear students, welcome to the second semi-final of a class apart Mrs. YGP Memorial Quiz brought to you by PSBB Group of Institutions in collaboration with TCS Ion and Greycaps Knowledge Tribe. This is the second semi-final which means I have completed the first one and one person, the winner from the first semi-final has already made it through to the grand finale. Believe me, the quiz was amazing. Go back and take a look at the semi-final and the quarter-finals if you haven't watched all of them. All of these quizzes have played beautifully in this uh, series of quizzes that we are having. You are going to enjoy all of them. For now, let me quickly start by introducing our semi-finalists to you and then we'll get into the rules of the game. First up, we have Lok Cheet from Vidyaniketan Public School, Bengaluru. Following Lokchit is Hari Charan from Pushpalata Vidya Mandir, Tirunalveli. Up next is Meet Jain from Vidyanigetan Public School again, Bengaluru. And completing this lineup for us here today is Ishwar from PSBB, Chennai. I know it looks like a South India zonal finale here today, but believe me, we have had students taking part from the corners of our country. And amazing combination of kids who have taken part this year. And all these four who are here with us today are among the top 16 of our country as far as this quiz is concerned. That is a great achievement in itself, but from this semi-final here today, only the winner will make it through to the grand finale. I always tell our contestants when they play through the quarterfinal that it's about qualifying to the semifinal and not about winning. Here today, winning is the only way you will qualify to the grand finale. So it's absolutely important. Your scoring pattern, plus 50 if you get it right, minus 50 if you get it wrong. All the questions are on the buzzers. I have four rounds of quizzing for you here today. The first three rounds will, uh, you'll have clues appearing on your screen. The last round, of course, is going to be oral. I will brief you on that separately later. Let's start the second semi-final of a class apart Mrs. YGP quiz with the first round. She is historic. Here we go. This entire quiz was created as a dedication or a tribute to a great educator from our country, Mrs. YGP. And of course, she was very passionate about India. So this entire quiz is about India. 
So contestants, remember the context when you give me the answer. Don't forget that this entire quiz is an India quiz. All right. For the first round, you will have images coming up on your screen and I have corresponding questions that go along with the images. It's up to you on when you decide to press the buzzer. Once you press the buzzer, I stop reading out the question. Remember that, okay? All right, if all of you are ready, let's start with the first question of this quiz coming up on your screen. Here we go. Which young 30-ishwar, go ahead. Chhatrapati Shivaji Terminus in Maharashtra. Taking a negative on that one is Ishwar. He did not wait for me to complete the question. Sometimes you take the risk, it pays off. Sometimes it does not. Ishwar, you did not notice the photograph of a person, of a man right there on the screen along with the Chhatrapati Shivaji terminus. My question, which young 31, 32 year old architect was behind this? The answer I wanted was the name of this person. His name is Frederick William Stevens. F.W. Stevens would have also given you the points. Taking a negative on that is Ishwar. All right, you see what happens when you don't wait. All right, let's move on. Question number two, here we go. Identify the historic movement. Ishwar again, go ahead. How about Bhavi and Gandhian movement? All right, taking a negative on that again is Ishwar. Ishwar, you have to wait for me to ask the question. I would have given you way more context. My question, ladies and gentlemen, identify the historic movement initiated by him in 1951 at Pochampalli village. Your answer was the Bhudan movement, which later became famous as the Gram Dan movement. It was basically the people who had a lot of land gifting land to the ones who did not have anything with them. That was the movement that Vinoba Bhave started. He was right about everything else, but my question was not what he answered. He takes a negative on that again. He's a good quizzer. He's quizzed with us multiple times. I'm sure he'll get back from this. Let's move on to the next question coming up on your screen now. Identify this grand old man, Haricharan, go ahead. I mean, it's, uh, uh, I'll take a guess maybe. Go ahead, quickly. Um, I mean, it's... Uh, Taking too long, Haricharan. I'm Dada by Naroji. Are you sure? Yes, Dada by Naroji. Plus 50. He's absolutely right. Dada by Nauruji, the answer I was looking for. He is known as the grand old man of India. And I did a little bit of digging and apparently he spent almost six decades in the Indian national movements. He contributed for that long in the Indian national movement is why he is known as the grand old man of India. Dada by Nauruji giving Haricharan his plus 50. Let's move on. Question number four on your screen now. Identify the hill station in Himachal Pradesh where this historic temple dedicated to Hidimbi Devi is located. She was the wife of Bhima or Bhim from the Mahabharat. I need the name of the hill station from Himachal Pradesh. Very famous name, guys. Here, Haricharan, go ahead. He's on the buzzer. I'm Manali. Plus 50 to you, absolutely right. Manali giving Haricharan a plus 50. Moving on, the last question of this round coming up on your screen now. This is the Ramappa temple in Kakatiya style in Hindu temple dedicated to the god Shiva. Which state is this temple located in? All right, no one going on that one. Time is up. The answer I was looking for is Telangana. Telangana would have given one of them a plus 50. All right, we have come to the end of the first round of this semi-final, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you where our contestants stand. As of now, Haricharan is the only one who is on 100 points. Ishwar took multiple negatives. He's a good quizzer, but he was a little impatient with the buzzers, and that is why he has a minus 100. Lokchit and Meet are yet to score. 
Let's see what happens. Let's move on to the second round of this quiz. She is beautiful. Here we go. I have an example for you for this round. The example is right there. So in this round, along with the image, you'll also have the number of letters. The number of circles that you see there on your screen will indicate the number of letters in your answer. You got to be very careful when you give me the answer. Do not get carried away by the visual. Check the number of letters. Only if the number of letters match is when you get the 50 points. Otherwise, you do not get the 50 points. Okay. The answer for this one would be Mysore. It's right there. The number of letters fit the word. All right. So my question is, where is this beautiful palace located for this particular question? Okay. All right. The scoring pattern remains absolutely the same. Let us move into the first question coming up now. In which city of India would you find this monument? Ishwar, go ahead. Chandigarh. Last 50. Beautiful answer. Ishwar is coming back from his negatives. Like I mentioned earlier, ladies and gentlemen, he's a good quizzer. He's taken part in multiple quizzes. He knows how to play the game. Plus 50 on Chandigarh to Ishwar. Let's move on. Question number two on your screen now. The Pradhan Mantri Sangrahale is a beautiful museum dedicated to the former prime ministers of the country. Inaugurated by whom in 2022? Meet, go ahead. Narendra Modi. Absolutely right. Meet gets a plus 50 on that one. Narendra Modi, the answer I was looking for. All right, let's move on. Question number three coming up. Now, identify the type of famous painting from Haricharan. Go ahead. Quickly. It's uh, Madhubani painting from, uh, uh, from Bihar. You need to give me one answer, Haricharan. I need one answer. Bihar. Minus 50 on that one. Bihar does not fit into the number of letters. I have four circles there indicating the number of letters. How does Bihar fit in there? Getting a minus 50 on that is Haricharan. The answer I was looking for is FAD, which is P-H-A-D. The origin of this, this style of painting or art is from Rajasthan. And they are actually uh, better known as mobile temples because this is uh, the kind of paintings that they do is depicting the local deities. So when the people would travel, they would carry these along with them and they would sort of call these paintings as mobile temples. Haricharan getting a minus 50 on that. I think he got a little impatient this time, minus 50. But with that minus 50 that Haricharan gets, the game sort of goes back into a little level playing field. Let's see what happens. Rest of them can quickly make it up and probably give a tough contest or competition to Haricharan. Moving on. Question number four coming up on your screen now. Identify this traditional Marathi folk theater, often with singing and dancing, widely performed by local or traveling theater groups within the state of Maharashtra. Theater, I said. Haricharan, go ahead. I'm Lokanatya. Minus 50 again. Again, minus 50. Again, what you said does not fit into the number of letters, Haricharan. And uh, I said, for, first of all, I said Maharashtra and I said theater. Tamasha, the answer I was looking for. Tamasha fits into this correctly. And I stressed on theater solely because I did not want you all to, uh, you know, rush into the answer and give me Lavni as an answer. That is why I stressed on the word theater multiple times. Getting a negative on that one is Haricharan. Let's move on to the last question of this round coming up on your screen. Here we go. This is a beautiful glass house found inside which great garden in Bengaluru? Meet, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Last 50 to you. Absolutely right. I would probably be slightly disappointed if either Meet or Lokchit wouldn't have gotten this answer right. But Meet gets it right and gets a plus 50 on that one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have completed two rounds of this quiz. 
Let me quickly tell you where our contestants stand. Well, Haricharan was at a very good start, but it happens with quizzes, I don't really blame him. They tend to get a little impatient and they tend to get slightly aggressive on the buzzers. He took multiple negatives and with that he's gone back to nil. Lokjit is also yet to score. Ishwar is trying to claw his way back in, he's on minus 50. Couple of more right answers from him and he would be probably getting into uh, the positives. And Meet, he's calm, he's, he, he was the same even in his quarterfinals, I have uh, quizzed with him. He's very calm, he knows when to answer and when to keep quiet and is currently leading this quiz with 100 points. That, that's where all of these contestants stand. Let's move on to the third round of this quiz. She is inspiring. Here we go. All right, contestants. This round is going to be similar to the first round that we had in the quiz. You will have images that will come up and I would have corresponding questions that go with the images. You know how to play this uh, round and scoring pattern is also absolutely the same. All right. The first question of this round coming up on your screen. Here we go. She's a gold medal winner from the Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games. All right, no one going on that one, ladies and gentlemen. The answer I was looking for is Nikhat Zareen. Nikhat Zareen, although she's holding a ball right there, I think it's a cricket ball, she's actually a boxer and she won a gold medal at the Birmingham 2022 Commonwealth Games. Let's move on. Moving on to question number two of this round coming on your screen now. Identify the diplomat who went on to become the president of India. In the general elections of 1998, he also became the first sitting president to vote. He was president of our country. Well known name guys. Ishwar, go ahead. Yeah, Narayanan. Plus 50 to you. Absolutely right. K.R. Narayanan, the answer I was looking for. Ishwar getting a plus 50 on that. And with that plus, plus 50, Ishwar has negated the minus 50 he had still remaining from the first two questions of this quiz. Let's move on to question number three, ladies and gentlemen, on your screen now. Identify the Indian American winner of the Nobel Prize for Medicine commemorated by this Google Doodle. He won the Nobel Prize for Medicine. He has done a lot of work in the field of DNA and RNA. Ishwar, go ahead. Hargobind Khurana. Last 50 to you. Absolutely right. Hargobind Khurana, the answer I was looking for. Let's move on to the next question. Question number four of this round on your screen now. Identify the founder of Indian Statistical Institute. His birthday on June 29th is celebrated as National Statistical Day. Ishwar, go ahead. Hariyal Gandhi. Repeat that one for me, Ishwar. Hariyal Gandhi. Taking a negative on that is Ishwar. The answer I was looking for, P.C. Mahala Nobis. He's, he was a part of the planning commission as well and is also known for something that he created. That's the Mahala Nobis distance. All right. Ishwar taking a negative on that, ladies and gentlemen. The last question of this round. On your screen, the visual now. Identify the Kargil war hero whose life the movie Shay Ishwar, go ahead. Captain Vikram Batra. Plus 50 to you. Absolutely right. My question, ladies and gentlemen, was identify the Kargil war hero on whose life this movie Sher Shah is based on. He gets it absolutely right. Captain Vikram Bhatra. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one last round of this semi-final remaining. Let me tell you where all of them stand. Well, Lokchit and Haricharan are yet to score. They're yet to recover. Haricharan has to recover. Uh, Meet is still leading with 100 points. Ishwar gaining and losing, so he's back on 50. 
One more round remaining, ladies and gentlemen. Five more questions with 250 points to score. Anything can happen at this point in time. Um, even uh, Lokchit or Haricharan can get all the five right and win the quiz. Probably Meet might win the quiz or Ishwar gets all the five right and wins the quiz. Let's see what happens. I still can't tell you who is inching closer to, the, uh, to get, get their uh, spot in the grand finale. For now, let's get into the last round of this quiz. She is a class apart. Here we go. All right, nothing appears on your screen as of now. You will have to listen to what I have to say very, very carefully. This entire round is going to be uh, oral questions. You will not have any clues on your screen. Be very careful on when you choose to press the buzzer because you have no clues on your screens as well. You have to depend on what I have to say. Once you press the buzzer, I stop reading out the questions. You know what the rules are. The scoring pattern is absolutely the same. What you need to remember is that the winner only makes it through to the big finale that is coming up. Okay? Good luck to all four of you. The first question of this round. Here we go. The 200 rupees bank note features which monument situated in Madhya Pradesh? Meet, go ahead. Shanti Stupa. Absolutely right. Getting a plus 50 on that is Meet. Sanchi Stupa is absolutely right. My question actually was Buddhist monument. I purposely kept it out of the question when I asked, but he still got it right. Sanchi Stupa gives him a plus 50. Let's move on. Question number two. Here we go. Which great leader is associated with the famous speech starting with the words sisters and brothers of America? Lokchit, go ahead. Swami Vivekananda. Plus 50 to you. Absolutely right. Swami Vivekananda. The answer I was looking for. An iconic speech and an iconic moment in the history, especially for us Indians. Sisters and Brothers of America, Lokchit getting a plus 50. Question number 3. Which apex institution of India has the motto, Yato Dharmastato Jaya? Haricharan, go ahead. IIT. Getting a negative on that one, minus 50 to you. The answer I was looking for is Supreme Court. The Supreme Court of our country has this motto. Uh, it actually means where there is dharma, there is victory. Or where there is righteousness, there is victory. That is what this Sanskrit uh, phrase or shloka means. All right, Haricharan getting a negative on that one. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, these are actually good quizzes. I've quizzed with them multiple times. Sometimes the pressure of a quiz and the pressure to win to make it to the grand finale can take over. Let's see what happens. The penultimate question of this quiz, ladies and gentlemen. Which river is the longest west flowing river in India? Haricharan, go ahead. It's, uh, uh, it's the Brahmaputra. Taking a negative again, Haricharan. The answer, I said longest west flowing river. I understand because I said longest you went for Brahmaputra. The answer I was looking for is Narmada. Narmada would have given you a plus 50. Last question of this quiz, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you where all of them stand. Well, Ishwar and Lokchit are both on plus 50. Haricharan gained and lost and gained and lost and finally he's on minus 100. Meet is on 150 points. So whatever permutations and combinations you do, I think Meet has made it through, but I still have to conclude my quiz. So let's move on to the last question of the semi-final. Here we go. Which Indian scientist wrote Niruddesher Kahani, the story of the missing one? Niruddesher Kahini. Scientist, I said. All right, no one going on this one, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually uh, one of the early Bengali science fictions from our country. 
The author of this particular story is Jagdish Chandra Bose. He dabbled with being an author, he dabbled with literature as well, but at the end of the day, he was a scientist. Jagdish Chandra Bose would have given one of them a plus 50. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the scores don't change with 150 points. Meet Chain from Vidyaniketan Public School, Bengaluru, has secured the second spot in that grand finale that is coming up soon. Congratulations to you, Meet. The rest of you have played really well. I've seen you guys playing. Keep playing like this. Your day will also come. You too will make it to that big finale someday. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for this semi-final. Don't go anywhere. I have two more semi-finals coming up. You have seen how these kids play and how well prepared they are. Believe me, you're only going to enjoy the next two semi-finals as well. I will see you in the third semi-final. You take care.